Hi, Mike here from Avio. Today we're going to run you through the Avio install app on iOS. Once you've got it downloaded and installed, select the icon and you're going to be presented with the splash screen and the main functional screen behind that is our scan for devices button. You want to get that selected and ensure that you've got the tap to wait function active on PowerSense and you're going to see that show up. A little green bar there on the right will denote the signal strength. First three green bars that you're going to see, angle, raw and force. Angle. and then force and raw force together. That's basically when you bend that. The orange line there is highly, highly multiplied up so that you can see when you hang a 10 kilo weight that will go out of view. The next thing we've got on the bottom there is the zero offset button. That's a standard zero offset that you can do on any uh, head unit. This sends exactly the same command. Once it does that, it will give you a 15 second uh, delay so you can't interrupt. Again, this is part, all part of the process. You've got the factory reset, You've got device firmware update. We'll come on to that a little bit later. You've also got a couple of renaming options on there. We've got rename, we've got ID. Those are ways you can modulate those. In the middle of those, we've got dynamics. That's rider dynamics. There's basically a multiplication factor you can tune up or tune down your reading by and then disconnect. Pressing and holding zero offset then. We're gonna do that for a little while. It's about five seconds. After there, you're gonna see an error message. Are you sure you want to enable the factory recalibrate button? If you press this button with no 10 kilo load or fix correctly, you'll invalidate your power readings. If you select OK, you'll then see at the bottom your 10 kilo button right there. You don't want to be pressing that unless we're going through calibration, but those are all the functions that you can move through with the Avio PowerSense app. Once you're done, ensure you disconnect properly. This will bring you back to the scan for devices and you're good to go.